All right, in this video, a quick overview of my newest preset, DS squared away. Uh, you have four squares, um, and we have some pieces we can cycle through. This little circle in the middle is your button. Once you get the hang of it, you can definitely hide this button uh, to make it more visually appealing or whatever. But uh, tapping on that, we can go to the next thing, which is the weather. Notice this is probably kind of hard to see. Well, I'm going to show you how you can adjust that whenever you add your new image into your background inside of the global variables this will change all these colors and you can even adjust those colors after you do that and pressing the circle button again not doing that if I press this we go to a music player and then what else do we have uh, this is our customizing piece built into the preset if we tap on move stuff we can actually I keep on I'm gonna use my finger now I'm tapping on move stuff and notice it does kind of move it around you know down here in the bottom left hand corner we can even adjust the size of this thing. I'm going to show you that in a second. But I like having things uh, nowadays. This is just the mood I'm in for right now. I like to have things uh, minimalized so I can enjoy the background, um, whatever background you decide to add. Some other things we can do. Stroke. Stroke 1, 4 means, think of this as square 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, notice square 1 and square 4 have a stroke applied to it. So if I tap stroke again, now square 2 and square 3. Notice 2 and 3 have a stroke applied to it. And this will also, now we're at 2 and 4, so square 2, square 4. This will apply this to every single, if I press this center button here, it's going to apply it. Now, I will not stroke these right here because they're so small to begin with. But now notice like the time square two, square four. So it applies it and now the weather, notice these two have a stroke, these two do not because I had the stroke set to two and four as you can see there as well. And uh, we can keep on changing this stroke down here. So one, two, three, one, two, four, square one, square two, square four, uh, square one, three, and four as you can see that number is indicating that. Uh, one, two, three, four, all of them or we can have none of them. Also what we can do is we can apply clear to all these fonts. And now notice that kind of took it away. You can't see them really, but depending on what your background is, you might be able to see these depending on whatever background you're using. So uh, yeah, just some things to play around with right there. Now let's go into KOWP and look at how we can change these colors real quick. Over in Globals, first of all, what you can do as well is you can change your background. So maybe I should start there. Just pick you an image. I'm going to pick a different one and watch how the colors will change depending on what image we pick. So as you can see here, a different image is pulled in and now our colors are different. So, uh, and now actually, you know, I like the way this looks. Um, I don't really have to change any colors. It looks like everything's going to be pretty visible. Um, let me press the center button. Notice we can see currently 42, even on this little preview screen. I like being able to adjust my preset, right, or uh, play around with my global variables right inside of the advanced editor now. High and low. Um, can we see all the music stuff? Yes. Nirvana, come as you are. Yeah, you can see that down there at the bottom. But if you can't see this stuff, that's what these things are for. Um, oh, I forgot to show you the background filter. Let me save this. Let me go to the home screen. And let's see. Okay, there it applied it. Now, uh, something I failed to mention, filter. We can filter this background. So desaturate doesn't really change anything that I've noticed. But uh, there's invert. There's black and white. You know, that's pretty cool. And now let's just throw this thing in the bottom left-hand corner. I like that. Let's go into KLWP. Of course, you know, it doesn't keep it the way it is. But uh, nonetheless, now, okay, all these pieces that you see here, one extract, dark, vibrant. Now, if I go back to my timepiece, maybe you notice that the color of these squares are swapping back and forth. So this can be a little bit confusing, but in the time, this is one extract, this is two extract, three extract, four extract. Um, that's what these are, so you can change those. However, when you go to the next one, notice, do you see that? You see how a while ago it was like brownish and then yellowish and now they swap? Well, that's how I have it set up. So play around with these uh, and you can adjust the alpha values. For example, now one extract is going to be this one over here. So if I go in here and change this to um, vibrant, you see how that changed that one there and then we can adjust the alpha of that thing so we can make it completely non-transparent. And we can do that to all of these. But now if I go back to my time, notice the blue square is kind of going back and forth, that one I just changed a moment ago. And now when, here I am at my RSS, and since I think I have an odd number, oh, how many pieces do I have? Anyway, when I go back to time, it's going to still be that one right there. So this is one extract, two extract, three extract, four extract. 
You can adjust all those alpha values as you can see in here. Now, if you want your squares to be smaller, something like that, well, you may say, okay, now the text is kind of overriding it. Well, you can also adjust the corners as well, um, whether you want corner or rounded corners or not. You can adjust the e extracted colors for your each individual text item. So the same way with the one extract, two extract, three extract, four extract, for the squares, you can actually, it works the same way for these text items as well. So you can adjust those. Adjust your global value. Adjust your text size. Therefore, if your square is too big, you know, you can adjust that and make it right about there. And uh, you can adjust the stroke when you are changing the strokes up here. Notice like how you see little strokes applied to these two. We can make that stroke more or less. There's the clear. You don't have to mess with that. If I want to move this thing when I'm inside of my preset, I can go and move this to the bottom left. Bam. Now you may notice it's not really down here in the bottom left. That's what this hidden square is for. So notice that hidden square kind of moves it around and it's moving everything else in relationship to that. And everything else. Okay, if you don't want that circle shown anymore, just go ahead and adjust that go alpha, go alpha down to zero. Now that button's gone away, but obviously you can still press on it. So saving that, going back to the home screen. Now we have it down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Very minimalistic, so you can really... I enjoy whatever background you may have, and I can still go through all of my pieces. Currently 42. Probably need to adjust the stroke size, as I showed you a moment ago, to get those to uh, see a little bit better. Same thing with that. Maybe it's kind of hard to see your music, but you know, if you're using a, a really nice cell phone screen, which we all are, um, you should be able to read those just fine. And again, we can adjust our filters. That's just me. So where's that black and white at? There we go. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That is uh, DS squared away. And um, I hope that got you used to the global variables here. Um, the things I've done tutorials on in regards to color extraction, uh, anchors, uh, the, the list global variable, all that stuff is getting used in here. So play around with the codes and uh, see what you can make out of it. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.